Hello friend and welcome to One's Journey of Unwinding the Mind. I am so excited to have you here and really excited and nervous and scared and all the emotions of really releasing what is has been essentially my journal my journal over the past almost year and the reason why that began was i really started to understand the concept of receiving in giving is receiving and when we teach we become the learner and i've always been such a verbal processor that when i began to really start to unwind my mind and i will tell you more about that journey to get there verbally processing allowed me to understand at a deeper level and to not only intellectualize these understanding but allowed me to continue to unwind my mind deeper and deeper by me sharing and of course in giving is receiving because we are all one so by me sharing i know that everyone is receiving and this video vlog whatever video journal whatever you want to call it started out as a patreon channel and really wanting to bring a community together of like-minded individuals who are on this journey of just getting curious and it's me sharing new concepts that i'm learning and understanding and how i'm integrating them into my life and how they confuse me and how i get stuck and how i go backwards and how i go forward and how i grapple with things and how i get curious with things so it's really like uh, almost like a lecture series podcast episode where I have a a concept every week um, or every day actually I'm gonna be dropping one episode every day and then we just unpack it so how did I get to that place I've been a curious person my entire life I started as a curious child but at one point society really taught me to not be curious that's annoying that's disrespectful all of that and I locked that up for a very long time um, I am divorced I was married I have a son I adopted he's in his 20s I have been diagnosed with bipolar I have worked through what had got me that diagnosis I no longer take medications and no longer carry that diagnosis I attempted to take my own life at the age of 16 I was almost successful, which you're like, almost Ashley, almost only it counts in hand grenades and horseshoes. That's what we say in Minnesota. But they read me my last rites and I was literally supposed to get a liver transplant. But I moved through all that. I've lost my father to suicide. I've been through divorce and death. I've been through like the life things, all of the things that we all go through. But I knew there still had to be more, my friend. So when I turned that curiosity back on after my divorce in 2016, it was on like full fledged. We are like hands down, our, my back was against the wall and I'm like, we are going all in on this. And I found myself back at church for a period of time and really getting involved in worship and, and God and Jesus and the, the sacrifice and the crucifixion. And then at one point I was at church and the topic was brought up about how God loves you unconditionally, but then there's this list of conditions that if you break these conditions, then he doesn't love you. And that brought me back to remembrance of my father's suicide and how he wasn't accepted. And so then I really moved away from the church and organized religion. And I found myself gravitating towards the new age movement. And one of my first real books exposed to that was conversations with God. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm my own little God. And I really got into the manifesting and manipulating the illusion and being my own little magician. And then it fell apart again. And I was like, what? This makes no sense. This makes absolutely no sense. And I w was significantly in debt and it was really at this place of surrender. And when I mean surrender, I mean surrender. Like back against the wall, alone in Florida. I had moved to Florida with no money in my bank account. At any moment, things were gonna be taken from me. And I just had to laugh. I just had to laugh, but not in a deceptive way, but what else can we do? Nothing. All we can do is just be. And that was one of my first experiences of, oh crap, there's other stuff in the way of me being able to just be that I need to work through because I had to be forced to this place of surrender. But it also showed me what is possible. And it gave me this guiding light of questioning 
everything else in my life to get to that place. So I really began to go on that journey, um, still very confused, still very much in the new age movement of manifestation and energy healing and manipulation of the illusion, which I'm not saying is bad. I'm telling you, this is where I was at. And one day I was having a conversation with a friend. And by this time I had met Patrick. Patrick is my partner. We both are very much on this journey of unwinding our mind together. He also takes part in the Patreon channel if you're interested in that. But we were on this, in this place of we must be aliens from Andromedon. And we are here to save the world. And we are just really have this massive purpose and really out there fairy tale. It was so cool to live in that, but it still didn't make sense to me fully. I mean, it was cool. It was fun. It was exciting. It was thrilling, but it also had its lows. So I was having this conversation with a friend who recently got as Reiki certified and that one of the Reiki masters he was following is talking about how it's good to allow the bad energy into yourself because the bad energy is just as useful as the good energy. And he really saw it as like these demonic type forces and how you should allow that. And it just didn't sit. I was like, okay, wait. Like, I really have enjoyed Reiki, but I, I'm not feeling this, my friend. Like, this is not resonating with me. And so I said something to Patrick after I got off the phone, and I was like, that just doesn't feel right. And his response, and mind you, we had never talked about Jesus or God. I really coined everything in my world to the universe and manifestation and thanking the universe and knowing that I'm my own little God and I'm creating this at that moment. And he said, you know, I bet someone who believes in Jesus doesn't believe that. And I was like, what? And I just like, my mind blew up. In that moment, I had this massive epiphany of like, it's always been Jesus. It is Jesus. It is God. But it is not how I learned and organized religion. But it is, but it isn't. And this is an illusion. And the, like, all of these things came flooding in. And I was literally at this place of, there has got to be another way, right? Like, I believe it's Jesus, but the way I know of Jesus doesn't seem right. I believe it's God, but I believe in, in a God that loves me unconditionally, which doesn't mean I love you unconditionally, but here's a list of conditions. And then I know this place is illusion because of like conversations with God and holographic universe and, and really this new age movement. But the purpose of me just being here to experience myself as God, that doesn't make sense. If I come from unconditional love, why would I want to come here to experience pain and suffering and separation? And if I'm God, then I'm perfect. How can I be God and perfect and create this place? These are some of the questions I was having. And I texted or I called my mentor and she has just been a beautiful guiding light for me. I could share more in further episodes about her, but I said to her, I said, Jess, I don't know, man. Like, I think it's Jesus and God, but it's not the Jesus and God that I've been taught in religion. And, and I know this is an illusion, but I don't think like I'm a little God here to manipulate and, and create magic, but I'm confused. There's got to be another way. There's got to be another option that I'm not seeing. Like, what is this other option? And I, I, I was like, what? And she's like, Ashley, I've been listening to a book that... I haven't fully grasped myself yet. I'm still grappling with, that's why I haven't shared it with you. But I really think you need to start listening to it because I believe this book holds a lot of your answers or a lot of answers to your questions. And it was The Disappearance of the Universe by Gary Renard. I purchased the book. I came home and I told Patrick about this grand conversation I had with Jess. And she, she claims she's got the other way or possibly has answers to these questions. And we devoured that book. That book is an audible book. It's a regular book too, but I would highly recommend if you're curious about that book to purchase the audible. It is a commitment. I think it's over 15 hours, but it's a conversation between three people and they use three different voices. And it's, we called it a fireside chat. If you're familiar back in the day before there was television, they had what was called fireside chats and they'd come on and tell stories through the radio. And that's literally what it was like. We devoured that. I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I've been searching for my entire life, my entire, in lifetimes. 
It was like this deep knowingness. And for once in my life, I didn't have more questions. It was answering my questions instead of giving me answers that provoked more questions, which had been my experience my entire life. And ultimately, that book, which Gary has many more, Gary Renard, led me to what is known as The Course of Miracles, a book scribed by Helen Schuchman from what is believed to be Jesus in the 70s. And that book has sealed the deal from any more questions. It has really been the backbone of these future episodes you will listen to. And really, the episodes, what they're about is these concepts I'm learning through Gary's book and then I also, Gary's books, and then I also found my way to Kenneth Wapnick and David Hoffmeister and just all these beautiful thought leaders or mystics or whatever you want to call them, um, beautiful mirrors of remembrance is what I would say they are because it's not like I'm learning anything, my friends. It's like, I'm remembering. It's like if you you knew how to tie your shoes and then you get into a car accident and you no longer remember how to tie your shoes. I know we say people have to relearn, but they don't. They're just remembering because they've always known. And so these books, these talks, these everything is not someone trying to teach me something. It is someone trying to remind me of something. And I believe that someone is is the symbol of Jesus, my big brother. So that's what these videos are, my friend. They're really Ashley's journal of grappling herself, which I am the mind. We are all the mind. So it's really the mind, a projection of the mind, grappling with these out there, out of this world, literally out of this illusion topics and understanding to unwind itself back to truth. I originally dropped these on Patreon and I have a Patreon channel still called Big Miracle Energy and there's amazing memberships there. If you'd like, you can have access to the episodes before they drop here on YouTube and if you would like the higher tier of right-minded thinkers, we have an amazing live discussion once a month where we get to just go deep together, reflecting on one another and diving even deeper. We would love to see you there. But ultimately, I had these on there. I started dropping them in March of 2023. And ultimately, my friends, what I'm doing, I decided is that more people need to have access to this because I know in giving is receiving. So I was like, let's drop it. Let's release everything out on YouTube and let's just share. Let's share and truly live by what I try to live by every day, which is Ram Dass's quote of we're all just walking each other home, my friend. And really, there is only one here. So that one is walking home. Just walking home, my friend. So that's what these episodes are. That is what one's journey of unwinding the mind is, is just one projection and her name happens to be Ashley and she happens to look just like me because she is me in this illusion of grappling and unwinding the mind. And you will see from episode one versus episode 100, the drastic change in my level of understanding and perception and just how it has impacted my life. And I hope by you listening and tuning in daily, I call these your daily microdose, my friend, because these are rabbit holes every single day, but they're short and enough to just reflect. And I plan to drop one every single day for at least the first 60 days. And after that, we will redetermine how often an episode comes out. But I'm here to be on this journey with you. And I hope you're here to be on this journey with me. And like I said, if you'd like to have access to the episode sooner, hop on the Patreon, get signed up, or come join the monthly live discussions. I am so excited and just know that none of us have it perfect and to never stop getting curious. Curiosity did not kill the cat. Curiosity saved the cat. And just because A Course in Miracles and Gary Renard and Kenneth Wapnick have been my mirror of remembrance doesn't mean they are for you. But by listening to my journey, I hope it gives you the courage 
to ask the questions to find out what your journey is. And maybe it is your journey. Great. Awesome. But if it's not, it still doesn't matter. What matters is that we're in this together and we're getting curious together. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions, please comment below or send an email to Ashley at coachwithashley.net and hop on bigmiracleenergy.com. And as always, so much love, my friend, and remember you are worth it. Bye-bye.